In this video of the 18 videos about the types of training ninjas or shinobis go through, we're talking about the most iconic type of skill they use that most of us relate to. Shuriken Jitsu is a traditional Japanese martial art that focuses on the use of throwing weapons, such as shuriken, as means of self-defense or attack. There are 10 key factors in Shuriken Jitsu, and they are 1. Shuriken Jitsu was a specialized skill that required extensive training and expertise, and was often only taught to selected members of a ninja clan. Mastery of this skill required not only physical training, but also a deep understanding of strategy, tactics, and situational awareness. Number 2. The use of shuriken as a weapon was particularly effective for the ninja, who were often tasked with carrying out covert and stealthy missions. The use of throwing weapon allowed the ninja to engage their targets from a distance, reducing the risk of detection and increasing the likelihood of success. Number 3. Shuriken Jitsu was often combined with other ninja skills, such as stealth, disguise, and sabotage, to carry out assassinations and other secretive activities. The use of shuriken could be used to create a distraction or disable an opponent, allowing the ninja to carry out their missions undetected. Number 4. The ninja were also skilled at using shuriken as a defensive weapon, deflecting incoming attacks or projectiles. This skill was particularly useful in situations where the ninja needed to evade or escape from an enemy, and as it allowed them to create a window of opportunity to flee. Number 5. Shuriken Jitsu required not only physical skill, but also mental discipline and focus. The ability to remain calm and composed under pressure was critical to the successful use of shuriken as any lapse in concentration could result in a missed target or a failed mission. Number 6. The use of shuriken was not limited to the ninja, but was also employed by other warriors and martial artists in feudal Japan. However, the ninja's unique approach to shuriken jutsu combined with the use of other skills made them among the most feared and effective users of this weapon. Number 7. Shuriken jutsu was not just a weapon skill, but also a symbol of the ninja's identity and their place in society. The use of shuriken was part of the ninja's mystique and legacy, and helped to reinforce their reputation as skilled and deadly warriors. Number 8. The art of shuriken jutsu has been passed down through generations of practitioners, with various schools and styles developing over time. While the ninja are no longer active in their original form, the legacy of shuriken jutsu lives on through modern martial arts and popular culture. Number 9. Shuriken jutsu represents the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the ninja who were able to turn everyday objects into deadly weapons. The skill and discipline required to master this art is a testament to the ninja's dedication to their craft and to their ability to adapt and innovate in the face of adversity. And number 10. Shuriken Jutsu includes a wide range of throwing techniques from simple throws to complex techniques that involve spinning and bouncing the shuriken off surfaces. These techniques can be used in different situations and can be adapted to different types of shuriken, allowing practitioners to choose the best technique for the situation at hand. I hope you've liked this video about shuriken jutsu and ninjas and shinobis. If so, please motivate me to bring out more interesting videos about Japanese culture by liking and subscribing with the buttons below, and by helping me spread word about this channel. Thank you for watching.